This is where my intro would be if I had an intro. Let me sit you guys down here so I can do our opening the right way. Alright, hey there guys and welcome to an episode of Let's Play Terraria. Oh god, I just hit my desk. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about what it is. Um, and we're going to do some failing at it. I, I'm sorry, I apologize. I did play a pirated version to make sure I wanted to spend 10 bucks on it. But I swear to God, this is a legit version of the game, alright? That's what I did with Minecraft before I started making my videos. I was like, do I really want this game? Played a pirated version, realized I like this game, bought the game, alright? That's what I always do. So without further ado... Let us go to single player. I've already created two characters. This is my leisure character, Matt of the Funk. Look at this guy. Here's the guy we will be using. He looks very typical. Just like, he kind of looks like me. Light blue eyes, dark, uh, you know, light brownish hair. Let's create a world and call it a large size world called... Whoops, I caps lock on. Let's play. Accept. Now it's going to generate some random game objects and drop down a few frameses per second. Because that's what you do when you're generating some objects. And let's play with the sun while we're at it. Do, 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 do. Placing rocks in the dirt. Placing dirt in the rocks. <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm glad they kept that in after they did the pirated. After I played my pirated alpha version that was still there. It takes much less time to generate a world now. When the last time I recorded, I tried to record the pirated version to see what kind of frame rate I would get. And I was, it took like five minutes to generate all this. Oh my god, horrible. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I did that. But, you know, $10 is $10, especially when it's on a Visa gift card. Which I could refill at any time, but I don't really want to. Okay, now it's creating the underworld, and I'm going to look at this copyright 2011 blocked. Hang on, let me change. Uh, why did I take a screenshot? Whatever. Okay, I put my recording thing in the top left corner where it should be, and it says copyright 2011 Relogic. This sold 50,000 copies on the first day, so the people who made this made about $500,000, so... Congratulations, makers of Terraria. You are about one one hundredth as successful as Notch. <laughs> but, you know, some indie developers... I, I like when indie people do well, really. I mean, if EA could go bank... Well, actually, if EA went bankrupt, I would hate my life. But if a big gaming company, like, had trouble publishing a game in a genre like this, that indie, gamers, indie, indie game makers always succeed in. You know, I'd be happy if that happened, because... This, games like Terraria, like Minecraft, like, um, like Terraria, like Minecraft, that's, that's about it. These, this kind of game, it, it should always be, it should always belong to the indies. I mean, there is no reason a big corporation should ever touch this, and I swear, if I see like EA, or uh, but, and I swear, Bungie, Bungie, if your next Halo alternative is made out of blocks, I want to punch you. <laughs> If Bungie is one person, Bungie is one person. I'm gonna punch you, and I'm gonna apologize here to Psycho Midget for offending you for being 16. I'm sorry. I just received my fifth job rejection letter that day, so I was a little bit po because, you know, I'm kind of trying to make money for 10 new PC. Uh, I'm gonna get one for my friend tomorrow, but it's really uh, the pirated version did this too. All right, let's go on our let's play. Anyway, so uh, getting a new PC for my friend tomorrow, it's not the greatest, but I kind of bought it from him so I could upgrade it. So I'm going to pay it off because <laughs> um, I don't want to pay him all my money at once in case it crashes or something and I might need my money back. Just make sure he doesn't spend it all. He's just that kind of person. I don't mind that, but it is a little bit irritating. <sighs> liquids, liquids, liquids. Why are you so unsettled? I don't fully understand this. Was there a horrible tragedy in your family? Are you crying and running to finding tile frames? I don't know what tile frames are, but evidently they're lost. Oh, where, oh, where have my tile frames gone? Oh, where, oh, where can they be? With their ears cut short, tile frames don't have any ears. And their tails cut long. Again, no tail. So please come back to Matty. Da 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 da. Okay, that's boring. Let's play with the sun. Ah, darn it, I missed the sun. Okay, let's play with the moon. Playing with the moon. Playing with the moon. We're playing with the moon. 
It will be night forever and the werewolves are gonna eat you. Do do do. do. There we go. The tile frames have been unlost and here we are out in our new world. Oh, I think I might have messed up a setting here. I turned off. I turned skip frames off. Whoopsies. Hang on. Oh, this is one of those little mistakes you get playing a game the first time. <laughs> it's an option that wasn't in the pirated game that I played for tw for 10 minutes to figure out whether or not I wanted to play this. So, And you, you know, guys, if you like this game, go buy it on Steam. I would generally, in any way, I would tell you to support an indie developer. And come here, Moon. Whoa. It's back in the world file. Settings. Frame skip on. Okay, that should do it. Single player. Matt. Let's play. Okay, there we go. And I swear, if those tile frames ran away while I was gone, I'm gonna go beat a poor little orphan to death. Loading world data? Well, it looks like I don't have to beat any poor little orphans. That's good. Orphan beating really isn't my strong suit. I always find that when they look at you with their big, sad eyes, it kind of tends to throw you off where you're gonna pick up that club and beat the orphan, you know? What am I talk Why am I talking about beating orphans? When did this turn from a nice little Terraria Let's Play and grabbing the moon and circling it around oh i'm gonna go beat some orphans that's not cool man that is not cool i'm gonna check how much time i have left on my recording timer Blah. you suck i hate you i hate you so much right now Blah. let's see here auto lock never okay sorry i just i'm going to my ipod and I set a timer for 20 minutes, because that's how long these videos are going to be about. Might go a bit over that. Are you still finding the stupid lost tile frames? Here's an idea. Don't let them run away. Alright? Just don't let the stupid tile frames run away. I don't care if they're hard to find. You can just, like, chain them where they are. Jeez. I tell you what. <sighs> okay, there we are. Frame rate's better. I just had to turn me some frame, frame skipping. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, that's why you start this game with the axe and whatever else you start the game with. I think my goal in this series is going to be to replace my Minecraft series with it. Because my Minecraft series is getting boring. Minecraft is going to get into the point where it's like, oh, why do I have to play this game? But Terraria is fresh and happy and new, you know? It's like, um, if you're eating potato chips out of the same bag of potato chips for like three days, and then they start getting stale... That's what happened to Minecraft. I mean, Terraria is like opening that fresh can of Pringles when you realize that Pringles never actually go bad. So maybe this will be the one can of Pringles in my endless pile of tomato chip. T tomato chips? Okay, leave a comment if you know what a tomato chip even tastes like. If you're from some weird country where the main religion is like potatoism and you can't... My voice is really loud right now. I'm going to tone it down a little bit. But if you're from some weird country where you cannot eat potato chips because potato chips are sacred, please tell me what a tomato chip tastes like. Unless you worship anything that ends in toe. And if you worship anything that ends in toe, tell me whose toes you worship. Is it the king's toes, the queen's toes, uh, your particular deity's toes... Uh, or if you're in a country that worships knees, please tell me if, if you worship, say, a cypress knee. Part of a cypress tree. And this guy really looks like me in a white vest and jeans and white shoes. That's kind of scary. And there is a slime, the most irritating mob in the game. I remember these from back when everybody in my class wanted to be original and play Maple Story instead of RuneScape in fifth grade. Oh, God, the slimes. Oh, my God. I'm glad that's been over for a good four years. <laughs> Glad that's over. Ah, where do you, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton eye slime. Eat a magic mushroom. Oh God. Kill him with an axe. I've got something to axe you. Romeo, save me. I've got something to axe you. Da da. Wait a second. I should have said Juliet. Please don't think I'm gay. Even though if I were, I sure, I'm sure you guys would still love me. Wait a minute. No homo. I should just stop singing because whenever I sing stuff like that, it just, it just gets really awkward. Is there seriously two more slimes that want my blood over? Hey, picks do four damage now. That's interesting. And I've got eight slime gel, which means I can make a lot of torches. I don't want to go in there because it's dark and scary. Also, there's a really big cliff. So instead, we're going to walk this way. 
and I'm going to be giving you guys a full tutorial on how to yell a lot and survive the first night at the same time. And these pictures, oh, what the flipping horse turd nip. But ah, don't, okay, good. I thought I was going to die for a second, but I landed on the little bit, the little one. All right, first thing you gotta know is you gotta put your cursor on what you wanna kill, slash chop down, slash gather. I think you can left click torches and no! 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 <laughs> Probably just that sounded like pixelated roar to you guys. Why do I say pixelated roar so often? That's odd. I never noticed that I say that, but I do. Anyway, I just made that tisking noise on the big screen. And I wanna mow this giant lawn. And I don't understand why whenever my brothers play this game, they get these giant trees, but I don't get any giant trees. I just get these, these little poop trees. Okay, it's high noon, so I should probably start thinking about finding my guy to building me some house. So let's just level this whole oh, poo. Are you serious? Okay, then we'll just cut down all these trees too. I suppose this is just a symbol of how mankind has to destroy whatever environment it lives in. So it can create an, an environment that it finds favorable. And we have eight minutes left in this recording. Yay! I wasted it all generating a world and turning skip frames on. Which is weird because it doesn't matter when I'm not recording, but I guess it's because Fraps limits me to 30 frames per second, it looks like. This is like the first game I've ever had trouble getting too many frames per second recording, trust me. When you're doing stuff on a single core computer, you know what slow means. It's almost like running on a Pentium 3, but with a Pentium 4 Extreme, which is, like, worse than almost every Core 2 Duo, except for, like, really early ones, like, maybe an E3800 or something. Uh, I'm sorry, did I bore you with my technical babble? I think I may have. If, I'm, if you're bored with my technical babble, please tell me what you want me to talk about as filler while I'm trying to eat through these dirt blocks, etc. Alright, that's good. A lot, of, a lot like Minecraft, lots of digging of the whole variety, I guess. Alright, let's just try to do the pop and drop tactic that's become so popular in Minecraft, and it does in fact work, so if you like to use the pop and drop tactic, this game is the game for you, I guess. And let's mow... If anyone ever had to mow any grass inside of their house, I don't think anybody ever has. Come on, devs, fix it! Oh, crap. Ah, uh, you little poopin' mire! There, I've slain the Poopin' Mire. That is what the slimes will forever be known as. They are now Poopin' Myers. Yep, I just called them Poopin' Myers. What you gonna do about it? You gonna call me immature? <laughs> okay, I'll be like the 20 billionth person in the history of life to call me image. Oh, I just threw a crafting table like a boss. Anyway, pop down the crafting table, hit escape, and craft me some torches with all that slime, the glorious Poopenheimer gel that I've collected. So I made 51 torches. That's fascinating amount of torches. <laughs> I didn't think you could ever be able to make this many torches in this game because there's no coal. And I actually kind of applaud them for not picking the same minerals as Minecraft because then I'd be like, okay, rip off, come on. Give those back to Minecraft. You know that they belong to Notch. Those things are the work of Notch. And if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm babbling on while I craft the... You can make a mallet already? Wow. When I played the pirated alpha version, it sucked big, fat, big, fat, I'm trying to think of a word that won't make YouTube's army of zombies come after me, uh, Poopenheimer. Unless someone at YouTube is actually named Poopenheimer, then I'm dead. Okay, which means we can now remove dirt walls, which is something that it always annoyed me. Is like when people, back in the early alpha videos that I watched, when this game was still being like developed even to this stage, uh, it always made me very angry when I saw people that had like little bits of wall in their house. And that made me really mad. I don't know why. Alright, look. <sighs> Are you kidding me? <sighs> no, you're not. Oh, someone's asking for a beating, like those little orphans I have to hit because of that little bet I made with the tile frames. Stupid tile frames making me beat orphans. I don't like beating orphans, but when I must, I must, correct? Correct. All right, let's take care of that and put a block of wood there and do the same over here and put a block of wood. Now we can put the, can we put the crafting table back? Yeah, I think we can. 
It's a crafting bench. That's another thing I don't like from... The, that's the only thing I don't like from this game. They call it a crafting bench. They sort of, I guess, compromised and said, you know what? People who say crafting table, people who say workbench, we will have the best of both worlds. But that doesn't work because I prefer crafting table and crafting bench just isn't the same. So you have angered an entire army of nerds. Good job. <laughs> I applaud you at your nerd angering abilities. And let's just make sure we have about 50 wood left, because who knows what we're going to need that for. And now we have some wooden walls. And we can place these around. This is how you survive the first night, by the way. I would recommend you start working on your house by high noon, because you'll be finishing it up like I am right now at right about mid, right about uh, sunset. And that will ensure that you will not be that you will not indeed have your flesh consumed by zombies. Them things ain't fun, baby. Unless, of course, um, I can grab the sun. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not an admin, so I can't grab the sun. Never mind. And I'll have, I didn't think they would add the mallet so early on without the uh, anvil, but I guess they did. Whatever. Now we just need to pop up here and finish the wall. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Really? Ah, Poopenheimer. Speaking of Poopenheimers, or is it Poopenmeyer? Whatever, we're gonna call him Poopenmeyer, because I think that's what I said before. There were Poopenmeyers outside. I am so bad at this game. Can the computer game fairy come along and. Uh, did I just do that again? I did! Why do I keep placing wooden uh, block and not wall? I guess because my Minecraft logic tells me it's the same thing, huh? Okay, we have to get rid of our Minecraft logic and go into the new. Improved mindset of Terraria, right? Right, okay, remind me. Whenever I use Minecraft logic, tell me to smack myself really hard on the forehead. But not really, because then my parents will walk in on that at some point, and they will think I am a crazy, depressed lunatic. Which is what I am whenever I'm not a perfectly sane, happy, normal person. Get... Ooh, imperfections make Matt angry. You wouldn't like Matt when Matt is angry. <sighs> that makes me so mad. You don't even know how mad it makes me. It's like, it's like running into a poop and mire, or whatever. Yeah, poop and mire. That's what I'm calling him. I think. Let's see. Should go right about there. Can I jump like this and do it? Yeah. Nope, I can't. Come on now, I've got two minutes left in this record. Yeah, I did it! Look at that. Now I just need to take this upper floor and move it across the lower floor. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but it involves floor, so... Take oh, what did I just do? Ah, oh, man. My natural commentator skills took over, and I wasn't allowed to think about anything but commentating for a second. That's what just happened. Now all we need to do is put down le table and le chaise in les rooms. However you say that in French, les, les, les something, I don't know. I take French, but, oh, do I, do I seriously, oh, right, stuff that becomes part of the background must be removed with a mallet, and, oh, evil floating eyeballs already, are you kidding me? Man, I was not prepared for this, I was prepared for maybe a zombie or two, but no, you know what I got? I got, like, an evil floating eyeball of doom. And here's the zombie. He looks very happy and normal and well-adjusted, just like me. Come here. Play that funky music, white boy. I don't play funky music, but I am a white boy. Yay, I melded him gone. Okay, there are walls. The extra bit of wall is gone. And now I can finish the house and keep... Yep, you just got locked outside, boy. Now I've got my little wooden cube I can live in. Yay, it's a cube. Now I just need to put some doors on my cube. Something tells me I shouldn't do that because there's so many zombies. <laughs> uh, this is a this is not a favorable position to be in. But nevertheless, we shall come through it, friends. Don't you worry about a thing, because every little thing is gonna be alright. Don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to craft. Oh, I already have two doors. Silly me. Two, three. Let's see if he won't. Really? Did that just happen? Now it's in my house. Oh, well, it's trapped upstairs, though. So I guess that's kind of good. Oh, hey, look. I spawned right outside my door. Great. 
Can I place glazed doors? Or did I take out too many blocks? Yeah, I took out too many blocks there. Okay, we'll place the door. And now we'll place the torch. And there goes my alarm! So that means we have to wrap this episode up by attempting to kill this demon eye of death, destruction, and doom, I guess. So let's just whack it with this wooden sword and get some stuff out of it. And there you have it. I have killed a demon eye, and I will get a lens out of it. And I think, can you make glasses? Somebody tell me all the recipes in this flipping game. I don't know what they are. What the heck is going on? Okay, we'll just mallet this thing off the ground and have an OCD moment and go over our timing limit. But that's okay because we love each other just the same. Okay, I bet my guide probably got owned, which is bad, but not too bad because he's just a guide and he's only like the most essential thing for new players or, any or something like that. Let's put down my door there and there we are. And a torch there. And there you have it. I crafted a house with the proper ornaments and such. Anywho, that wrap. Oh, let me just take you guys my microphone off here without creating too much noise. But this has been our very first episode of Let's Play Terraria. Let me know if you guys like it.